So today I've got my sketchbook and I've got my pencil and pen and rubber as usual and I'm looking for some new things to draw. So um, in this case I have gone to my little selection of random things that I've picked up when I've been on walks. So I'm going to arrange these into what I think is going to be a nice composition and then I'm going to draw these shapes on here. So for this exercise, uh, what I'd like you to do is to either go out in your garden and collect some, uh, some branches and twigs and leaves um, and other things like that or uh, if you have uh, a little collection of stones and shells and, and that kind of thing, then, then go and fetch them and try and arrange them in a little grid like this and then, uh, and then draw them. You can draw mine if you want to, if you don't have such a collection or you can't get outside or you don't have a garden. But, um, uh, but yeah, if you, if you draw your own things, then you'll be able to examine them a lot more closely and get the shapes uh, a lot better. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide up my page into uh, different areas in which I can put all of these items. So I'm just using my pencil to start out with and I'm going to draw very lightly. And I'm going to start with this feather because it really dissects the page like this. I'm going to draw myself a little margin so that I keep everything within a box. So there's my feather. I've got a wee stone in there. I've got this twig at the bottom here. I've got this twig with the moss on it. Some berries there. I've got a leaf there and another feather and then up here I've got a shell, I've got two pine cones and I've got some little circles that I'm putting these little shells and things in. And now I'm going to take each one of these items one by one and draw them a little bit more closely with the pencil. So this stone here, it's almost circular, but not quite. It's got like a little bit of a dip in it. So I'm just going to refine that shape. That was easy enough. So for this feather, uh, for any feather, it's got a line that goes up the center of it, and then it kind of comes out into an oval on either side. So let's draw our line up the centre like that. It's always thicker at the bottom slightly. And then I'm going to draw it slightly wider on one side and slightly narrower on the other. And that's it for now. I've got this leaf and I'm going to draw that. Again it has a line that goes up the centre of it. And then I'm just going to put a few wiggles into it. Like that. The wee stick. Just cut off at a bit of an angle at the bottom. And it's a little bit jaggedy on the edge. Now this is going to be tricky to draw every little bit in here. So I'm not going to try that. I'm just going to draw the stem and I'm 
going to make it, it's very rough because it's got lots of lichen on it. So I'm going to wiggle my pencil around and then I'm going to create like a little cloud like that. And that'll do for that. And we've got some wee berries and in a similar way they've got a stem that comes down and then for the berries what I'm going to do with the pencil is just give an indication of where they are like that. I'm going to leave my big feather drawing until last and I'm going to go in with some more berries here a shell. It's kind of like an oval shape. It's not it's not perfectly circular. And it's got a little ring in the center of it. We've got two pine cones. Now these have got white on them because I bought them from a set of Christmas decorations and I didn't pick them up from the woods. But I think they're still quite natural. Now these I'm going to draw just by doing the outline so far. They have little marks on them like this which get further out as we go up the pine cone like that. Like that. Now to do this big feather, we've got the same as the little feathers, we've got uh, a line running right down the centre, well not the centre, but a nice smooth curving line. We've got a bit of a point at this end, and then this side comes out further than that side. So I'm going to draw it higher up on this side. To there. So I'm not trying to draw every little line, I'm just drawing the outline of the whole shape. And then the bottom line. I want to give an indication of some of these little gaps, so I'm going to draw the odd one or two here. And now I think that's enough of our sketch, so I'm going to go in with my pen and I'm going to start with uh, doing the outlines of some of the simpler shapes and then we're going to fill them in with some patterns. So I'm going to start with this leaf and I'm going to start with the, the stem coming up here and then branching off. And I'm using the pencil lines as a guide but I don't have to stick to them exactly. If I think I can do better with the pen then I'm doing that. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle my pen as I go. So the pencil line I've drawn might have been nice and straight but actually the edge of the leaf wiggles around. So if I just do some random wiggles with my pen, it'll look better. And then if I come up this side... And then a leaf has a natural pattern, this uh, veining line here. So I'm going to put that in, going from the centre line to the edge of the leaf, slightly curving them. And then on the other side, the veining comes out um, slightly below, so they don't exactly match. This one here, so I've got this interesting, um, interesting branch that's got lichen all over it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a twisting, curving line to draw the whole thing. Uh, 
and then some more twisting curving lines for this mass of moss I think it is I'm going to try and keep these more straggly so they look different to the stem here So these have a curving stem coming down into the mass of berries which then splits in a couple of places and then when you look at this you can see some whole berries, they're the ones on the top and then you can see um, partial ones underneath so I'm going to do a few that are whole berries and then do some others underneath and if you put a little dot on the end it makes it look a little bit more berry like So my shell, you can see, has got a little bit broken off it there, but the rest of it is intact. So I'm going to go around the outside, and then I've got this fluted bit around here. So I'm just going to, again, wiggle my pen as I draw it. Not worrying too much about getting the exact right number of wiggles in. This little shell is going to be a little bit easier to do because it's a nice round shape and then it's got a little crease line up there but the little curving lines on it make it really obvious that it's a shell. Now for our pine cones what I want to do is I want to draw in these little um, kind of round bits that you see as the tips of the pine cones down here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with the ones at the bottom. It starts fairly small and quite close together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join all of these with little lines. So they all kind of join into the bottom like this. For our stone I'm going to draw in the basic shape of the stone, just the outline and of course stones can be any shape you like so if you go off it doesn't really matter too much and then this stone has some little lines around it here and I want to kind of capture that I want to be able to draw some of those in so I'm going to give it some nice little contours And finally our feathers. I'm going to start with this one here, draw in the flight. This side that's a little skinnier. And then this side here, and this side's quite ruffled. So I'm going to again wiggle my pen as I draw those in. There. Now this feather has some really nice pattern on it anyway so I'm going to try and replicate that. I'm not going to do it exactly, I'm not worrying about every single little bit but I'm going to take the general shape of it which is that it comes from this centre line and goes in and out and along and out and along and out and along. So we're going to do that. I'm 
And now I'm going to draw in this big feather. So I'm starting with the centre bit. Oops, I went off a little bit there, a little bit wonky. I don't mind too much. And then this line gets thinner and thinner as it gets towards the end. And then I'm going to do some little wiggly feathery lines there. And then I'm going to start drawing my feather in. And I'm going to do the same. So I'm not copying exactly because I'd be on forever doing every single one of those. But I'm getting the general gist. of some gaps in the feathers there. So now I can rub out my pencil lines. So I've got my contour drawing and it's got some detail on it where I've added in the, the moss and uh, some of the lines on the, on the leaves. But I'm going to add some more detail with a fine pen. And for this I'm going to go I might go a little off-piste, I'm just going to look at areas of my drawing and say where do I think I need a little bit more detail or a little bit more interest or where needs something doing to it. And I'm just going to use the fine pen and add some bits. You can see that because these are natural objects I'm being a little bit more sketchy with my lines. I'm not worrying too much about making them neat. I'm being quite light and I'm not... Uh, I'm not worrying too much about getting the lines straight um, because I think that helps with the, the natural looking effect of the final sketch. So here's our completed drawing. I'm really happy with this. The patterns that I've used are a little bit more simple than we've used in other days and they've reflected the, the shapes that have come from the natural objects. But we've still got things like the concentric circles that we drew, we've got things like patterns of different lines going in different directions, we've got some uh, lovely scraggly messy patterns and these are all things that we can use in other drawing projects when we come to them. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I'd really love to see your drawings if you do them. If you can tag me on Instagram, that's Lou Rachel Davis. I'd love to see that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much. Goodbye.